In this video, we'll talk about establish a daily routine. Having a daily routine is discipline, and discipline is what Zen habits are all about. When you have a set routine to follow, you can get more things done and in less of a time span. Routine adds structure to your day and gives it a more ordered and calm feeling. As you move through your day, you know exactly what to do, and this simplifies your workday and personal life. With a time slot allotted to different tasks, you can better manage your day without crowding it too much. But perhaps the biggest benefit of having structure is that it puts you in charge. You decide what's important and needs attention first. To make things easier, you can divide up your routines into daily and weekly tasks. If you're able to stick with these for at least one month, they'll become lifelong habits. It's not only planning your daily and weekly chores that need attention, but also how you take care of yourself during this time. You also need to establish healthy habits as part of your routine, so you can take care of your body and mind in order to keep up with your planned schedules. How do you do that? You pay attention to these aspects of your daily life. Eating well. You know that you have to eat healthy, but do you also know how to do it? This is the point where many people get lost, as they're not sure how to implement this knowledge into action. But there is a simple way of doing this. You may question what the connection between a set routine and eating is. Your eating habits define your lifestyle. If you eat clean and healthy, you will have a better life and improved health. When you eat healthy, you can function better and become more energetic. Your starting point for eating well should be meal preparation. You can't go anywhere without this step. This will give you a fairly good idea of what you'll eat and what you'll have to stay away from. This step also involves shopping beforehand so that you have everything with you when you start cooking. Moving on, you should build your meals around really healthy foods. Of course, you can have some wiggle room for slight indulgences, but the core of your eating plan should be based on super healthy stuff. Make it a point to include foods that you really enjoy. This is very important if you want to eat well for the rest of your life. The reason why so many diets fail is because they center on foods not everyone likes. If you can't or don't eat what you like, you won't stick with it for long. While anyone can follow a restrictive diet for a few weeks at most, if you start to feel deprivation and suffering, you'll give it up quickly. So the key to eating well all the time is to choose healthy and enjoyable foods. You can also add in variety and mix up the plan every now and then, but the key is to stay with foods you love. Another aspect is food preparation. Keep your recipes simple, for you don't want to be slaving over the stove endlessly. Choose meals that are quick to prepare and use fewer ingredients. This way you'll save up on time as well as money. Mind your portion size as you eat. If you're eating healthy, nutritious foods, then you won't have to go in for seconds and thirds. What you eat in one serving should be enough to last you till your next meal. Exercise. When establishing a daily routine, it is important that you make exercise a part of your routine. Exercise not only keeps you fit, but also keeps you happy and has a mind-calming effect. It can even act as therapy for some. In general, people who exercise tend to be more active and happier than those who don't, but it may not be the easiest habit to stick to. Oftentimes, people start out exercising with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. They tell themselves they'll run for 30 minutes every day, or that they'll hit the gym daily. But the problem with this is that such a goal becomes too hard to sustain for long. You may be able to do it for a few days, but then you burn out and the whole thing becomes a drag. You may also tell yourself that you'll work out, eat healthy, quit desserts, and go cold turkey on the soda all at the same time. This approach also creates problems because there are too many goals to deal with all at once. 
Instead, what works in making exercise a regular part of your day is to start simple. Keep your exercise sessions short and simple in the beginning. Decide on a time that'll work best for you. This way, you're more likely to follow through and not put things off. Start off with a 15 to 20 minute session and stick with it for at least two weeks. As your body gets used to exercising, you can then start prolonging your sessions and adding more intensity. But try not to up the duration and the intensity at the same time. As you exercise, make sure that it's something you enjoy. As in the previous point, if you don't enjoy what you eat, you'll give up healthy eating altogether. The same goes for exercise. If you don't enjoy what you do, you'll stop doing it. Remember that recovery is an important part of exercise. You may not need to have a rest day if you're only working out lightly for 20 minutes or so. But as you progress towards more advanced sessions, make sure to add in rest days to give your body a chance to recover. On your rest days, indulge in some very light exercise, such as going out for a walk. The point is to never actually skip a day, as this makes creating a habit more difficult. Do something that keeps you moving, even though very slightly. This will keep your habit formation going. Lower stress. While a stress-free life is really not possible, you can try and lower your stress levels considerably. It's possible because many of the things you stress about are unnecessary. For most people, stress stems from things like meeting deadlines, dealing with difficult people, job uncertainty, competition, conflicts, not enough time, and an overall sense of being swamped by too much. When things get out of control, you start to stress out. If you want to lower stress levels from your life, then you need to have some sort of a method to do so. For instance, you need to recognize the signs of stress. When you feel the stress coming on, pause and take notice. You may feel this as a physical sensation of rushing and crashing down, or may recognize it as a headache coming on. Whatever the signs, you need to stop and slow down. If you feel that you're not in control any longer, just stop doing whatever is bringing on this feeling. You need to recognize that you can't be in control all the time, so don't let it get the better of you. Know that you can't do everything at once, so pick and choose your tasks wisely. Narrow your scope to bring things in perspective and renegotiate your commitments. Choose only what is doable and focus on one thing at a time. As you fully give yourself to that one thing, feel the tension melt away and relax into the moment. Accepting what's going on will make you better at lowering stress than trying to fight it. If people bring you stress, shy away from them and stay with others who make you feel good. If things get in the way, seclude yourself and meditate, stretch, massage, or get some fresh air until you are ready to face the challenges again. Schedule to take mini breaks every day to de-stress on a continual basis. This is the only way to charge yourself again for the next onslaught of the daily grind.